think. Um, I'm going to be reviewing this little thing that I bought from Amazon. This is one of the things that I bought myself. This isn't something that somebody else sent me, uh, but it's something that I bought to hopefully address uh, one of my few beefs with this uh, 890 adventure. Um, and that is the, the clutch pull is kind of, it's not, it's not hard. Um, it's just harder than what I'm used to with my um, CRF 300L rally. So I was hoping to find a way to make the, the clutch pull easier, first of all. And along with it being a little bit harder to pull, the, the I don't know what you call it, the friction range, I think maybe, is much more narrow than on the bikes that I came from, the XT250 CRF 300L rally. Um, and so I'm, I'm hoping to broaden that friction range out a little bit so I have more control over the clutch and to make the clutch easier to pull. And the way that I'm going to do that is with this longer clutch actuator arm. So, uh, you know, you pull the clutch and it goes, the wire goes down through the bike and it pulls this little lever down here um, that's about that long. This one's longer. And obviously the longer the lever, the easier it is to, to move. And also the longer the lever, the more movement it takes to twist the pivot point. And so that should make my friction point for the clutch bigger and it should make the, the clutch pull easier. So there are name brand versions of these um, that cost quite a bit more. Uh, there was one that I was looking at that cost $70. I think I saw one for $80. This one was $25 off of Amazon, and it looks very similar. Um, there was a couple cheap options. I'm hoping the camera is in focus right now, but uh, the reason I went with this particular cheap version is that it has a, a bolt with a locking nut on the other side holding on this little cable connector doohickey that probably has a name that I don't know. Um, some of them just had a straight pin with a little C-clip, but only one about halfway over the pin. And there were some reviews that said that thing would pop off and they would they would lose this whole thing and the clutch just wouldn't work for the rest of the ride. So again, cheap version, but it's got an actual locking nut. So this isn't going to go anywhere once I get it on. Um, the other thing that the, the fancier version has, that's the $70 version I looked at, it had three holes here. And the farthest one in was to match stock. And then you have kind of an in-between one and then the farthest one out. Now, I already know that I want to be on the farthest one out because I want it as easy as possible and that friction range as big as possible. Um, but you could bring this in one, and if you want it all the way to stock, you can just put your stock uh, actuator lever back on. So I think this is going to be just fine. It's just a, an anodized piece of aluminum that, uh, you know, there's not a lot to it. So I had a hard time paying 70 or $80 for this. Um, I'm not going to go through the installation. I'm going to I'm going to put a link in the description for the installation video that I watched, which was actually for that name brand one that for some reason I can't think of right now. Um, so if you want if you if you want the security or warm fuzzy of going with a bigger name brand that costs three times as much, by all means do it but uh, the physics is the same. So I'm gonna throw this on. It's all gonna be anecdotal, um, just how it feels. I don't have any equipment to measure the, the, the change in, in pressure it takes. The video that I have a link to does have some actual measurements. So you can see him you know, objectively showing that it's easier to pull. Uh, but most of all, I just wanted to see how this little cheapy version of it uh, would hold up. And if we can save a little bit of money, then we will. Anyway, I'll throw this on and be right back. All right, real quick, while well, I've got them both off, I figured I'd hold them up so you could see the difference for anybody who wants to see them juxtaposed. That is the difference. Significantly more lever length on this new guy. And uh, one thing that I think I'm gonna do if the threads match up is use the Torx uh, bolt from the stock on the, uh, on the new one. Just because everything on the KTM is Torx, I don't want to have one or two things that have a hex bolt in there. Um, so yeah, I, I think that the threads are going to match up. I'll let you know if they don't. All right, I've got it installed. Um, the installation wasn't too bad. It did take a little bit of finagling to get this cable ad adjusted just right. You know, so there's a, a little bit of wiggle room before it starts to engage. 
If there's too much slack, obviously it's gonna be loose on your lever, but also this uh, cable could slip out of the little cradle pretty easily if there's too much slack here. So uh, it took a little bit of tweaking just to dial that in just right, um, but not too bad. And uh, the lever is noticeably easier to pull. I probably need to adjust it down just a little bit. I think that's a little bit more play than spec, but um, but I'm gonna go with it like that for now just to try it out. Like I said, it's a lot easier to pull. It a lot, feels a lot more like my 300L Rally, which I've been spoiled by and what I'm used to. So I'm hoping the uh, friction point is spread out as well, like I'm expecting. I'm gonna throw on my helmet cam so uh, I can get some first person footage of my first ride so you can get my uh, raw, unfiltered first impressions of how this is different. Okay, it turned into night while I was installing this. Um, so you probably won't be able to see much scenery, but we'll see how this works. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. So much better. Ah, <laughs> I'm so happy. The way this clutch feels stock is probably totally normal to someone coming from a street bike. Or maybe not, I don't know. But in any case, um, man, just right off the bat, I can tell. I can just, I can ease so much more gently into gear. Um, so yeah. I feel like I've just activated easy mode on my clutch. Uh, so much better. Um, yeah. If you don't like the clutch response on your 890 adventure, do this $25 mod. In my opinion, you won't regret it. Oh gosh, this just makes me so happy. <laughs> all right, that is all. Anyway, I appreciate you watching my videos. Subscribe to my channel if you feel like it, and ride safe.